Hello everyone! I thought today I would share a little get ready with me, kind of a quick one, this is just my everyday look, and also do a video about setting my hair with beer. In the 1940s when everything was in shortage during the war, one of the quick tricks that you could use was to set your hair with beer. Now, I know this sounds really strange, and some of you might be thinking, why would you waste a beer just to set your hair? But I promise you that it's not as weird as it sounds, and I thought I would do a video because I did have some people ask me how that works, and if it dries out your hair because there's alcohol in beer, and like, what, why would you, why would you even try that? I got this idea from Strawberry Demise on Instagram. I will link her down below. She has a whole highlight section on her Instagram that talks about vintage hair, vintage beauty tips, stuff like that. So um, that's where I found this tip that she had discovered and I actually really like it, but I will get into the hair later. First, I'm going to do my makeup. Well, so this is just gonna be chatty. I feel like I haven't done anything chatty in a long time and I wanted to just kind of chat and answer some questions about setting my hair with 1940s hair hacks. I had been uploading pretty regularly for a while and I feel like I should kind of explain why I have been really sporadic lately. At least I feel like I've been pretty sporadic. Um, the biggest part, which should be obvious, but if you're new to my channel, um, maybe you don't know this, I had a baby six months ago and I have two other kids, so I've got three kids who are all under five. And so that's a big part of why I haven't been uploading regularly lately. But also, I feel like in the winter, I just can't really get as much of the content that I like to create because like my last video, which was the husband thrifts my outfit video, I didn't really like the way that it looked when we filmed it and unfortunately I didn't check our settings and one of the lights that we were using turned off and we figured it would be okay so we just kept filming but I just... I feel kind of blah about that video. I just feel like I haven't been able to film a lot of the videos that I want to film, either because, you know, I have three kids or because they just don't quite turn out as exciting as I want them to be or, um, you know, just things. Life happens. I also haven't been uploading regularly because most of the videos that I've been able to get have been the same kind of videos. It's all been either style videos where it's a lookbook or it's been um, like travel with me videos because we've done a lot of trips recently. I've been wanting to just create some variety for my channel but like six months after you have a baby your life is just not together at all and so my house has been kind of a disaster. Basically I just haven't been uploading as much because I haven't been able to produce the kind of content that I have ideas for. It's just been a learning process to figure out how to schedule my life around a new baby and two kids. Um, I actually thought about making it a video series where I test out a actual 1950s housewife daily routine that I found online. There's a book called The Beginner Housewife um, by Phyllis Harker. It was written in 1956, I think, or 1954. Um, and it's a suggested routine for your day where you basically, I think you start at 6.50 in the morning and you have three to four hours of free time in the day and then a lot of the routine includes exercise and it includes getting ready and brushing your hair and doing your makeup. Um, it includes having tea and having a morning break, I believe, morning coffee, um, breakfast, all of that stuff. So I want to try to follow that and if you guys would like to see my like updated week living like a 1950s housewife with three kids following that actual routine. Um, I made that make that into an actual uh, new like 1950s housewife week because uh, I had a lot of fun doing the other one and I learned a lot and my house was a lot cleaner and that's kind of how I got into the routine before I had my third baby. That's how I got into my, my last daily routine was following. The 1950s housewife week so if there's any videos that you guys want to see definitely let me know down below I really would like to cultivate a vintage lifestyle I would love to make any videos within that spectrum um, like I can make cleaning hacks videos because I do have a full book of 
household cleaning tips from the 1970s um, that I'm going to put to use. And I definitely want to make more cooking videos. Um, that has been my goal for a while, but again, with three kids, it's kind of hard to film a cooking video by yourself at home. And by the time my husband gets home, I really want to spend time with him, so I don't like filming when he's home, um, even though sometimes I do on the weekends. All right, so I have this box of ColourPop. I have all these new ColourPop colors, um, and I think that I'm actually going to just take, I'm just gonna take these two colors. I'm gonna do something pretty simple because I'm not doing anything today. Um, so I have Tea Party and Set to Stun. And I am going to test how these work with a brush. I had somebody tell me that for her they worked a lot better when she was using her finger and I did some swatches on my arm of them just to see what they look like. They, they felt really nice when I was using a finger but I just want to see. So they don't really show up a lot if you try to use a brush. So I'm going to use my finger which actually is fine with me. I use my finger all for my makeup anyway. not crazy it's not bold it's just a very soft eye makeup look all right I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup off camera because it's eyebrows eyeliner mascara nothing interesting and then I will be right back all right I have also gotten dressed because I like to do my makeup without my clothes on so that I don't get makeup all over my clothes but once you put on a dress sometimes it's hard to get your dress over your hair so yeah um, and if you hear a baby, she's right sitting right there on the counter looking at me. So, before I get into the beer hair setting spray, I just want to mention that I am not an expert on this subject. I got it off of Instagram, like I said, and I don't know everything that there is to know, but I did do a little bit of research on some of the questions I've been asked. So, if you find contradictory evidence to what I am saying, just let me know because I don't know everything. I only know what I've researched myself and what I've been told. So first of all, I'll just explain the process. So the entire idea is that beer has some sugars in it that um, set, will help set your hair like hairspray, um, just a much lighter version of hairspray, and that there's some ingredients in the beer that are very good to add shine to your hair. Um, you've always heard of your grandma doing a beer rinse in her hair. It's kind of the same concept, but you leave it on. Um, so how you set your hair with beer is you leave a beer out overnight and let it go completely flat and this will also evaporate I think 40% of the alcohol that's in the beer so that it doesn't dry out your hair so much. Because I don't set my hair every day or every night, um, I've never found this to be drying to my hair. I have done it pretty much every time that I've set my hair in the last couple months and my hair always comes out feeling very very soft and so much nicer and lighter and there's no product buildup, which I have found with the Motions Foaming Wrap, which I do still really like. One of the annoying things is that when you brush out your hair with the Motions Foaming Wrap, it can leave kind of a white residue on everywhere. And setting your hair with beer doesn't do that. So how you set your hair, you find a spray bottle of some sort so that it will come out nice and thin and fine. Um, this is my beer setting spray bottle. This is an old hair care bottle. I don't remember what was in it before, but, um, and then you leave it in the fridge and all you do is you just spray it through your hair, kind of like you would with water if you were trying to get your hair damp with water and you roll your hair up in curlers. I have seen people do this a few different ways. Some people will take each individual strand, spray it and set it. Um, I like to just spray it all through my hair and until my hair is, is lightly damp and then I'll set as many as I can while it's damp and then once it dries up, you know, if my hair is dry, I'll spray it through again and roll it up and just continue that until I've done my whole head. And then when I have my entire head of hair set, I will just spray around the entire set of hair so that I make sure that I've gotten all of it sprayed with some beer. Some people have asked me if it makes you smell like beer and I would say it does for about maybe 30 minutes. The longer that you let it sit, the less it smells like alcohol and the more it starts to smell very sweet. It kind of just smells like 
Mm, it still smells like beer, but it also has a, like a very sugary smell to it. When you spray it on, it will get on you. You will probably smell like beer for about 30 minutes, but then it all evaporates. You wake up in the morning, you don't smell at all. It does also make you a little bit sticky just because it gets all over you and it's got some sugar in it. But that again, I, I, you can, you can wash it off. And so far as if I like it better than other setting sprays, I really do. I have found that my hair is a lot softer. It's a lot shinier. It holds a lot longer, which I was surprised by. It holds longer than any other setting sprays that I have used so far. It's an authentic vintage hair setting tip, which I really like. So without further ado, <laughs> Let's see how my hair looks. I try to make believe that I'm not sad. Not a single soul to cheer me. And I'm so forlorn. No one to Alright, so I now have a second child in here. So this is how it looks all the way around. Um I don't follow any sort of setting pattern. I usually curl all my hair towards my face. I know you could curl them away from your face if you want, but I think that generally most vintage setting patterns tell you to curl the hair towards your face, so. So this is what my hair looks like before I have brushed it. Today I thought it would also be fun to use an actual vintage brush. This belonged to my grandma. I don't know if she used this when she was my age, but um, I do have pictures of her from the 1940s. I'll insert one right here so you can see and um, this was hers so I'm going to brush my hair with an authentic brush from my grandma's young life I think I don't really know but it, I know that it's an authentic 1940s or 1950s hairbrush so I will use a paddle brush is if over here it's not quite forming together as much as I want it to and I don't want to brush it too much more because I don't want the curls to get any longer so I'm just gonna use a paddle brush very gently just a couple times to kind of form things together on that side okay so now that I have my hair generally where I like it it's a little bit frizzy but I don't really care too much um, I am going to pull this back behind my ear with a couple pins and then, yeah, and then give my hair a good hairspray. And that's it. I don't know how the back looks, but whatever. I feel like this is my desired daily hair. Um, and that is how beer setting spray works. So because this front part was bothering me, I just put a little bobby pin in it. Um, and that is it. I hope that this video was helpful for all of those that had questions about setting your hair with beer. If there are questions that I didn't answer, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to look them up or answer them. Whatever I can do for you. And until I see you again, I hope that you all have a beautiful day. Thank you for watching. Bye! Video, thank you so much. <coughs> And it's a <sighs> bless you, honey. Oh my goodness. Um, and then when I have my entire head of hair spread, spread. <laughs>